a long and bumpy road to bring public transportation to the area. Jackie Sprague tells us what this new route means for riders. She's live with our top story. Well, this is one of the new bus stops here near the mall at Fairfield Commons. It will start service tomorrow. Now, those who fought for these bus stops say it's about so much more than just a way to get from point A to point B. After years of controversy, the three new RTA bus stops along Pentagon Boulevard will begin service Sunday morning. This issue originally went before Beaver Creek City Council in 2011. That's when members first denied RTA's request for those bus stops. Shortly after, the group leaders for Equality in Action in Dayton, also known as LEAD, filed a federal civil rights complaint. Primary, I think, target of their opposition was against people who were African American. The Federal Highway Association decided there may have been possible discrimination denying RTA's requests, whether that was intentional or unintentional. The association told the council that the city risked losing millions in funding if it didn't move forward with these bus stops. We talked to the mayor shortly after this finding. Unless we want something uh, catastrophic to happen in our city with our finances, then we don't have a lot of choice. Some opponents argue the bus stops will increase crime rates and lower property values. Supporters like Willie Ryder say it's about access to jobs and education for everyone in the Miami Valley. She says this became even bigger than anyone could have imagined. Because this ended up going to the federal level, because the big decision came down on this complaint, a precedent has been set for this kind of struggle all over this country. Now the first bus is slated to arrive at these new bus stops around 6.30 tomorrow morning. I just talked to current Mayor Brian Jarvis. He tells me that he has prior commitments and will not be there tomorrow morning. He says he doesn't know if any other council members will be either. Reporting live in Beaver Creek, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.